Afute rafiki. I am privileged to stand here. Nimetunukiwa kusimama hapa and to bring the word of God. Na kulileta neno la Bwana. I want to talk about arise and shine. Nataka nizungumze kwamba inuka na uangaze. Praise the Lord. Amen. Are you ready to receive the word of God? Uko tayari kupokea neno la Bwana? I will begin just to lay a few things down then I will give you what God has put in my heart. Nitaanza na kuweka vitu kadhaa chini na niwape kile ambacho Mungu ameweka ndani ya moyo wangu. We are talking about arise and shine. Tunaongea kuhusu inuka na uangaze. And are you ready to arise and shine? Uko tayari kuinuka na uangaze? Come on, check on your neighbor. Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, are you ready? Mwambie uko tayari. Are you ready to arise and shine? Uko tayari kuinuka na uangaze? Those are two words. Hayo ni maneno mawili. These words are very powerful. Maneno haya ni ya nguvu zaidi. When I read it, wakati niliyasoma, I felt the intense of that anointing in my heart. Nilihisi nguvu ya upako huo ndani ya moyo wangu. And I want you to remember this. Na ninataka ukumbuke hivi. When God wants to speak to his own people. Wakati Mungu anataka kuzungumzia watu wake. He does not descend from heaven. A atumi tu atoki tu kutoka mbinguni. And stand before the people and speak to them. Na asimame mbele ya watu na awaongeleshe. The Bible says in Amos 3:7. Biblia inasema katika Amosi 3 mstari wa 7. He reveals his secret upon his servants the prophets. Anafunua siri zake kwa watumishi wake ambao ni manabii. When he revealed this to his servant. Wakati alifunua haya kwa mtumishi wake huyu. Arise and shine. Inuka na uangaze. There is something God want to do here. Kuna kitu Mungu ataka kufanya hapa Am I talking to somebody here? Ninanena na mtu God cannot speak things he cannot manage to do. Mungu hawezi sema kitu ambacho hawezi kukitenda. When God says wakati Mungu anasema he will fulfill it. Atatimiza. We are not here in, At, by accident. Atuko hapa kiajali ajali. And if your friend never made it to come tonight. Na kama rafiki yako hakufika usiku wa leo. Don't mind about it. Usijali kuhusu hiyo. It is you to be here. Ni wewe kuwa hapa so that you can spread the news to him. Ili kwamba utangaze habari njema kwake. Because tonight God will change your life. Kwa sababu usiku wa leo Mungu atabadilisha maisha yako. And change does not force itself into somebody. Na mabadiliko hayajilazimishi tu kwa mtu. Change is always come to you if you need it. Mabadiliko huja kwako kama wahitaji. Am I talking to somebody now? So when we talk about arise and shine, kwa hivyo wakati tunasema kuhusu inuka na uangaze, I looked it into two dimensions. Ninaangalia katika mtazamo mbili. There is a word arise. Kuna la kwanza inuka. This word arise, neno hili inuka, it means You jump out of anything that was holding you down. Inamaanisha uruke kutoka kwa kitu ambacho kilikuwa kimekushikilia chini. You cannot arise. Hauwezi kuinuka. When you are still a captive. Wakati wewe ni mfungwa. But you can you can only arise. Lakini waweza inuka tu. Under the sound of the commander of heaven. Kwa sauti ya ule amri mkuu wa mbinguni. When God says arise. Wakati Mungu anasema inuka. It doesn't matter whether you are living under the surrounding of Aijalishi kama unakaa katikati ya wachawi. The word of God is yes. Neno la Mungu ni ndiyo and it is amen. Na ni amina. So if you believe it, kwa hivyo kama unaamini, it becomes your portion. Inakuwa sehemu yako. So when you talk about arise, wakati tunazungumza kuhusu inuka, another thing you need to understand. Neno lingine ambalo lazima ulielewe is to rebel against darkness. Ya kwamba ni kuenda kinyume na nguvu za giza. Mm, look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor you really rebel tonight. Ya kwamba utaenda We are rebelling tonight against the powers of darkness. Utaenda kinyume na nguvu za giza usiku wa leo. We are saying no to the powers of darkness. Tunasema hapana kwa nguvu za giza. I will read the scripture and you will understand what God is talking about. Nitasoma neno na utaelewa kile ambacho Mungu anazungumza. When the Bible says arise, wakati Biblia inasema inuka, it is also speaking to somebody. Inamaanisha pia inaongea kuhusu kwa mtu to wake up, akuamka from the sleep kutoka kwa usingizi when you wake up wakati waamuka that is the beginning of your next move ndio hali ya kwanza ya kwanza kutembea praise the living god 
Now when we talk about to shine is to be honored again. There are people sitting here tonight. You could not be honored from where you were born. Where you fellowship. Where you stay. But when God allow you to arise he will command you to be honored. People that saw you yesterday they will see you in a clean picture. Because when you arise you cannot shine. Because the Bible says in Isaiah 60 the Bible says arise then it says shine for your light has come. Am I talking to somebody now? It means you cannot arise when the light has not yet come. I wish I'm talking to somebody. May somebody receive your portion tonight. When your light comes, even your oppressors cannot oppose you. Because the light comes upon you. What is the meaning of the light? The light comes to locate where you are. It doesn't matter the location where you are. But if the light of God comes upon you, people will know there is somebody here. Because of the light that is upon your life. I pray with somebody tonight. May the Lord release the light upon your life. Because when the light comes, when that light locates where you are, because the Bible says, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. Number one, there is light. Number two, there is glory. Uh, can somebody clap for Jesus wherever you are? We have two things that will cause you to arise. We have the light. And we have the glory. Why do we need these things? The Bible says, there is one the Bible says, see, Darkness covers the earth. And thick darkness is over the peoples. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, darkness covers the earth. And thick darkness is over the peoples. But the Lord rises upon you. And his glory appear over you. Praise the living God. Then he says down there. Nations will come to your light. Nations will come for your light. And king to the brightness of your dawn. Praise the living God. Amen. So when we read this scripture here, the prophet Isaiah, Nabi Isaiah was not talking about physical dimension. Because physically, we have things that we cannot access. And in the spirit of God, we have things we can access them. I am talking to somebody here today. We have things that you've never accessed. But when you enter into the realm of the glory, when you enter into the light of God, you shall arise. After rising, you shall see the things you've been looking for. Isaiah was prophesying to Israel. He was telling Israel, the time of sitting down is over. The time of remaining stagnancy is over. 
tu pale umekwisha and the time that has come na wakati ambao umefika is for you to arise ni wako wewe kuinuka is for you to go to the next level ni wako wewe kwenda kwa hatua nyingine is for you to break the camp of stagnancy ni wewe kuvunja kambi ya kukaa tu pale i wish i'm talking to somebody here ni heri ingekuwa nasema na mtu hapa god wapa. cannot bring you here mungu hawezi kuleta hapa tu and you remain stagnant the way you na are na ukabakia tu jinsi ulivyo am i talking to somebody now nina nena na mtu sasa when god observes your ways wakati mungu anaona njia zako and he sends his word upon you na anatuma neno lake juu yako you need to prepare yourself lazima ujiandae because you will shift to the next level kwa sababu utakubadilisha kwa hali nyingine isaiah was talking about the anointing isaiah alisema kuhusu upako he was speaking about the anointing alikuwa anasema kuhusu upako that will come upon you ambaye itakuja juu yako and it will get to other people na hata kwa watu wengine be the source of the anointing. Utakuwa ni chanzo cha upako huu. I'm talking to somebody here. Nina nena na mtu hapa. You cannot shine awezi angaza without the light. Bila mwangaza. You cannot shine awezi angaza without the glory. Pasipo utukufu. But God has given you the glory. Na Mungu amekupa utukufu. He has given you the light. Amekupa mwanga. And he says, na anasema, see then all over the earth. Ya kwamba angalia dunia nzima. There is a coverage of the dark ya kwamba kile ule ufuniko wa giza it has covered my people imefunika watu wangu but i shall give you my light lakini nitakupa mwanga wangu i see the light of god here ninaona mwanga wa mungu hapa which is the word of god ambao ni neno la mungu when you catch up the word of god wakati unalishika neno la mungu any place you go mahali popote utaenda darkness will never comprehend giza alitakuwa pale i declare to you today ninatangaza kwako leo the more you declare the gospel since vile watangazwa injili the more you will begin to shine hivyo hivyo unaendelea kungaa i want to tell you something ninataka nikwambie kitu though the darkness is covering the earth kwa sababu giza limefunika nchi but there is a revelation here lakini kuna ufunuo hapa where there is darkness mahali ambapo kuna giza your, sh- your light will shine even more mwanga wako utawa, utangaa hata zaidi i wish i'm talking to somebody Ni here i don't know wako. how many people have used torch during the night sijui ni wangapi utumia kurunzi wakati wa usiku when you light at night wakati unatumia kurunzi usiku your light can be seen even from afar distance mwanga wako hizo onekana tatokea mbali i'm talking to somebody here ninano nena na mtu hapa it doesn't matter the darkness you are going through haijalishi ni ni giza gani wapitia whatever you are going through chochote wapitia the more you enter into darkness since vile waingia katika giza but you have the light of the gospel lakini una una mwanga wa injili you shall continue to shine utaendelea kungaa you shall continue to shine utaendelea kungaa we are people sitting here kuna watu wameketi hapa they shall shine in their families watangaa katika familia zao they shall shine in that family watangaa katika familia hizo they shall shine in that company watangaa katika kampuni you can shout amen kama waamini waweza sema amen praise the living god bwana yesu asifiwe and that's why jesus said na ndio maana yesu akasema the spirit of the lord god roho wa bwana is upon me ako juu yangu is upon me ako juu yangu for he has anointed me kwa sababu amenipa kama mafuta he declared alitangaza he said the spirit of the lord alisema roho wa bwana is upon me yuko juu yangu when the spirit is upon you wakati roho yuko juu yako the evidence will be the anointing ya kwamba thibitisho itakuwa ni upako am i talking to somebody here nina nena na mtu hapa am i talking to somebody here nina nena na mtu hapa when you receive the spirit of god wakati unapokea roho wa bwana when you receive the impartation of the spirit unapata kule kujanzwa kwa roho the anointing will come upon you pako unakuja juu yako and anything we do na chochote unafanya we do it in the anointing unaifanya katika upako the power of the anointing nguvu za upako wako it shall break every yoke itavunja minyororo yote because jesus said kwa sababu yesu akasema he has anointed me amenipaka mafuta to preach the good news to the people kubiri habari nzema kwa watu wake why was he going to preach wapi ambapo anaenda kuhubiri why was he going to preach kwa nini alikuwa anaenda kuhubiri because the entire world kwa sababu dunia nzima it is covered 
by darkness and because God has chosen you na kwamba nzili ambayo because God has chosen you kwa sababu Mungu amekusagua he has anointed you na amekupaka mafuta and given you the word na amekupa neno you shall walk everywhere utatembea popote pale by declaring his word kwa kutangaza neno lake and the more you declare and since vile watangaza the bible says biblia inasema nations will come mataifa watakuza you shall not go for the nations hautaendea mataifa but nations will come mataifa watakuza i declare to somebody here atangaze kwa mtu hapa you shall not be local preacher ya kwamba wewe hautakuwa tu wa kijijini you shall not be a local singer hautakuwa mwimbaji wa kijijini when the time comes wakati una wakati unafika when god anoint you wakati mungu anakupaka mafuta when god gives you the light wakati mungu anakupa mwanga nobody can cover you hakuna yote za kufunika you shall arise utainuka you shall arise utainuka look at your neighbor tell your neighbor my time to arise is now kwamba wakati wangu wa kuinuka umefika my time to arise is now wakati wangu wa kuinuka i wish you speaking to somebody i wish you speaking to somebody give your neighbor high five mpe zirani high five tell your neighbor i am arising mwambie zirani nainuka i am arising mimi nainuka when the time to arise comes wakati wa kuinuka umefika nations will be looking for you mataifa yatakuwa yanakutafuta flags of the nation will be looking for you bendera ya mataifa itakutafuta because there is something you carry kwa sababu kuna kitu wabeba that nation does not have ambacho mataifa hayana and that's what we call the light na ndio maana tunasema hiyo ndio mwanga and the glory na utukufu when you carry the light wakati wabeba mwanga the nations in darkness na mataifa na giza when you appear wakati waonekana you shine unanga you shine unanga arise inuka and shine now ngae i pray arise ninaomba inuka and shine now ngae worshipers arise waabudiwe inuka and shine now ngae preachers arise ubiri inuka and shine now ngae it doesn't matter where you are aizalisi uko wapi give your neighbor high five mpe zirani high five tell your neighbor location does not matter waambie sehemu uliko haijalisi what i'm looking for kile ambacho natafuta it is the light ni mwanga and the glory na utukufu even if you are here hata kama uko hapa even if you are in dandora hata kama uko kule mbali any place you are mahali popote uliko nations will come for you mataifa watakujia kwako everywhere jesus went mahali popote yesu alienda he did good alitenda mema and multitude followed him na umati ulimfuata they never followed him hawakumfuata tu because they loved him kwa sababu walimpenda they followed him walimfuata because of what he carried kwa sababu kila alibeba I declare to you Ninatangaza kwako Whatever you are carrying Chochote unabeba Those who said Alisema You cannot make it Hauta wale walisema hautaweza They shall begin to follow you Wataanza kukufuata Not that they like you Isi kwamba They like what you carry Wa, Wanapenda kile unabeba They like what you carry Wanapenda kile unabeba I declare today Ninatangaza leo Whatever you carry Chochote wabeba Shall carry you to the next level it na kupeleka hatua nyingine Tell your neighbor whatever you carry shall come to the next level. Ambia jirani kila ambacho umebeba kitakupeleka nafasi nyingine. nyingine. It determines with what you carry. Inalingana na kile ulibeba. I pray in the name of Jesus. Ninaomba kwa jina la Yesu. Tonight, usiku wa leo. As we pray here. Sisi tunaomba hapa. May you receive the light. Na upokee mwanga. Which is the word of God. Ambao ni neno la Mungu. Because the Bible says. Kwa sababu Biblia inasema. In Psalms 119. Katika Zaburi 119. Verses 105. Mstari wa 100 moja na tano the bible says biblia inasema and the word of god na neno la mungu is the light ni mwanga unto my path kwa njia yangu i declare to somebody here inatangaza kwa mtu hapa the word of god ya kwamba neno la mungu become the light itakuwa ni mwanga unto your path katika njia yako if you believe shout hallelujah amen sema hallelujah Greet your neighbor tell your neighbor I have the light. Msalimie jirani mwambie nina mwanga. The word of the Lord. Neno la Bwana. Shall be the light. Nitakuwa ni mwanga. In other words, kama neno mengine, I will not lead myself. Sitajiongoza mwenyewe. The word of God. Neno la Bwana. It will lead me. Litaniongoza. When I'm being led by the word. Wakati naongozwa kwa neno, I cannot die where I am. Siwezi kufia niliko. I cannot remain where I am. Sitabakia mali niliko. I shall go to the next level. Nitaenda kwa kiwango kingine. I pray for you. Nina 
kuombea in the name of Jesus kwa zina la Yesu as you believe this word sisi tunavyoamini neno hili may you receive it na upokee may you receive it na ulipokee may you receive it na ulipokee may you walk in it na utembee kwa neno hili may you speak it out unene neno hili in the name of Jesus kwa zina la Yesu that's why Jesus said ndio maana Yesu akasema the hour is coming wakati unafika na this is the hour na hii ndio wakati when the true worshipers ambao waabudua halisi they shall worship the Father baba in spirit katika roho and in truth na katika haki i pray for somebody here naomba na mtu hapa you shall not only worship hautaabudu tu you shall worship the one hautaabudu neno The Bible says Biblia inasema He sent his word alituma neno lake and they were healed na walipona I declare to somebody Ninatangaza kwa mtu hapa Anybody that is sick at all Yeyote ambaye yuko mgonjwa hapa We are not going to complain Hatutalalamika because we have the light kwa sababu tuna mwanga We have the glory tuna utukufu We shall declare Tutatangaza It shall come to pass Itafanyika Arise and Inuka shine. Na uangaze. Arise and shine. Inuka na uangaze. Come out of that stagnancy. Toka katika hali ya kukaa pale. You cannot remain the same. Hautabakia sawia. Look at your neighbor. Angalia jirani. Your neighbor don't remain the same. Mwambie usibakie vile vile. We have only one person. Kuna mtu mmoja tu. Who need to remain the same. Ambaye lazima abakie vile vile. His name is God. Jina lake ni Mungu. He is Alpha. Yeye ni mwanzo. And Omega. Tena ni mwisho. Is the same today? Ni yeye ni ule yule jana. Tomorrow. Kesho so and forever na hata milele but you lakini wewe you need to change lazima ubadilike you need to change wahitaji kubadilika you need to change wahitaji kubadilika from what people know kutoka kile watu wanazua to something they don't know kwa kitu wasicho kizua because the bible says kwa sababu biblia inasema and they shall declare na watatangaza surely ya kwamba hakika you are blessed umebarikiwa you are blessed umebarikiwa there is one man in the bible kuna mtu mmoja kwa biblia he was born blind alizaliwa kipofu he was not able to see hakuwa na uwezo wa kuona but the time he met the light lakini wakati alikutana na mwanga the time he met the glory wakati alikutana na utukufu people that saw him watu waliomuona they began to say walianza kusema is he the one yeye ni yule wa jana or is he the one ama ni yeye tu but he came up and he said lakini akawajili akasema i am the one ni mimi yule yule whom you saw ambao mliona i pray with somebody here ninaomba na mtu hapa the way they saw you in this way Kuona kwa mwaka uliopita I declare by the grace of God Nitatangaza kwa neema ya Bwana You shall be a changed person Utakuwa mtu wa kubadilika You shall arise Utainuka and you shall shine Na utaangaza Because your glory kwa has come Kwa sababu utukufu wako umefika Somebody cannot fight the glory Mtu hawezi pigana na utukufu I'm talking to somebody here Ninanena na mtu hapa Somebody cannot fight the light mtu hawezi pigana na mwanga just light the torch yani uweke tu tukurunzi uweke mwanga can you fight the light uweza pigana na mwanga angalie jirani mwambie jirani people can fight you watu waweza kupiga wewe vita but they cannot fight what you carry lakini waweza beba viga vita kile unabeba people can fight you watu waweza kupiga vita they cannot fight the glory of god over you lakini waweza piga vita utukufu wa mungu juu yako i pray you will not lose the glory ninaomba na mtu I pray that the glory will remain upon you. Naomba ya kwamba utukufu ukuje juu yako. So that you can continue shining. Ili kwamba uendelee kung'aa. So that you can continue shining. Ili kwamba uendelee kung'aa. Because you arise. Kwa sababu unainuka. Coming out from where you are. Kutoka mahali ambapo uko. You are shifted to the next level. Unasongeshwa kwa kiwango kingine. You are raised to the next level. Unainuliwa kwa kiwango kingine. The year 2023. Mwaka wa 2023. This is my prayer for somebody. Haya ndio maombi yangu kwenu. May the Lord shift you. Na Mungu Mungu akuinue. May the Lord lift you. Na Mungu akuinue. To a level you can begin to shine. Kwa kiwango utaanza kuangaza. From your family. Kutoka kwa familia yako. You can shine. Utaangaza. From that company. Kutoka kwa kampuni. You can shine. Utaangaza. In this church. Katika kanisa hili. You can shine. Utaangaza. Whatever you do. Chochote wafanya. You shall shine. Utaangaza. That's why the Bible says. Ndio maana Biblia inasema. Because you have the word. Kwa sababu uko na and you have the glory na una utukufu whatever your hand will touch chochote mikono yako itagusa it will not die akitakufa it will flourish kitanawiri am i talking to somebody here nena na mtu hapa whatever you declare chochote watangaza it shall come to pass itakuja kutendeka i pray for you tonight even in your prayers 
Hata katika maombi yako. When you arise. Wakati unainuka. And declare something. Na utangaze kitu. It shall come to pass. Kitakuja kutendeka. Because the power of God is in you. Kwa sababu nguvu za Bwana ziko juu yako. The power of God is in you. Nguvu za Bwana ziko ndani yako. Anointing is upon your life. Wako uko juu ya maisha yako. Somebody say amen. Mtu aseme amen. Somebody say amen. Mtu aseme amen. When it comes to anointing. Wakati nakuja kwa upako. Every yoke in your life. Kila minyororo ndani ya maisha yako. The anointing has power. Upako una nguvu. To break every yoke. Kuvunja minyororo yote. Isaiah chapter 1 says. Isaiah e, mlango wa kwanza inasema. Verse number 27. Mstari wa 27. Chapter 10 verse number 27. E, mlango wa 10 mstari wa 27. It says it shall come to pass. Inasema itakuja kutimia. In those days. Katika siku zile. That every burden. Ya kwamba kila mzigo shall be taken away. Utaondolewa. And every yoke. Na kila minyororo shall be broken. Itavunjika. Because of the anointing. Kwa sababu ya upako. Because of the anointing. Kwa sababu ya upako. I pray for you tonight. Ninakuombea usiku wa leo. When your time to arise comes. Wakati wako kwenuliwa utafika. When you arise. Wakati unainuka. Every yoke in your family. Kila nira ndani ya familia yako. Every yoke in your generation. Kila nira ndani ya kizazi chako. They shall be broken. Itavunjika. In the name of Jesus. Kwa sina la Yesu. Somebody raise up your two hands. Mtu inua mikono yako miwili. Say Father. Sema Bwana. Break every yoke. Vunja nira zote. In my life. Katika maisha yangu. Break every yoke. Vunja nira zote. Even if you are sitting here tonight. Hata kama waketi hapa usiku leo. And you're looking for your wedding to come. Na unatafuta harusi yako kufika. Nobody's looking at you. Hakuna yote anayekuangalia. God has sent me to tell you this. Mungu amenituma nikwambie haya. What you need is not money first. Chochote unahitaji si pesa kwanza. You need the light. Unahitaji mwanga. You need the glory. Unahitaji utukufu. The moment you begin to shine. Wakati tutaanza kuangaza. Nations will come. Mataifa yatakuja. Nations will come. Mataifa yatakuja. And when nation comes. Na wakati mataifa yanakuja that is your moment to go to the next level hapo ndio nafasi ya kwenda nafasi i ingine. pray for you today ninakuombea usiku wa leo you shall not complain ya kwamba utalalamika you shall never cry hautalia the time of crying is over wakati wa kulia umekwisha when god say arise wakati mungu anasema inuka he tells you shake off anasema jitingishe shake off everything ya kwamba vitoe vyote anything that has been holding you yote ambayo umekuwa vikikushika you shake it away unavitingiza na vitoe Away. You shake it away. You cannot arise when you are still holding on things. When the time of arising comes, you have things that will go away. You shall begin a new life. You shall begin a new life. I pray for you today. When you shift into the spirit, when you shift into the spirit, the spirit new things will begin to Kuna vitu vipi itaanza kutimia? Hata things will begin to happen. Vitu vikubwa itaanza kutendeka. Darkness will run away. Giza litatoroka. Darkness in your line of duty. Giza katika maisha yako. Darkness in your marriage. Giza katika ndoa yako. Darkness in your ministry. Giza katika huduma yako. Darkness in your family. Giza katika familia yako. Darkness is not your portion. Giza si sehemu yako. I say darkness is not your portion. Giza si sehemu yako. When the time to arise comes. Wakati wako kuinuka ukifika. Darkness will come out. Giza ni I declare over your life. Ina tangaza juu ya maisha yako. No darkness will prevail. Ya kwamba hakuna giza litakuwa. No darkness will prevail. Hakuna giza litakuwepo. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Because you have the power. Kwa sababu una nguvu. And you have the glory. Na una utukufu. And you have the light. Na una mwanga. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. You know when somebody has the glory, we, wakati mtu ana utukufu, he doesn't want to tell people I have the glory. Ataki haitakani tu waambie mtu mimi nina utukufu. Your face will just indicate that Uso you have the glory. Uso wako tu. And because the face indicate what is in the heart. Na kwa sababu uso unaonyesha kile kilicho ndani ya moyo. Therefore your heart will also be anointed. Kwa hivyo hata moyo wako utawekwa pa kwa mafuta. I pray for somebody here. Ninamwombea mtu hapa. Rejection will not be your portion. Ukataliwa kutakuwa sehemu yako. When you carry the glory. Wakati unabeba utukufu. When you carry the glory. Wakati unabeba utukufu. When you carry the anointing. Wakati unabeba upako. Every rejection. Kila kukataliwa. Upon your life. Juu ya maisha yako. It shall come 
out. It shall come out. This is my prayer for you. We cannot come here tonight and you leave that door the way you came. Somebody, we are refusing that. We are refusing that. God cannot allow you to come to sit here and your life remain the same. He said, Arise. Arise. Your time has come. You cannot just arise. When your time comes, you shall arise. This is your time. This is your time. He says, My word is yes and amen. When you hear the word of God and you conceive the word, you carry the word, you shall walk against every principality, every darkness in your life, every darkness. In your family, you shall shine over it. Your presence will be the absence of darkness. Am I talking to somebody here? When you appear, darkness must disappear. Darkness is something that makes you to be stagnant. But when you tap into the anointing of God, when you shift into that anointing, you so become an unlimited person. Nothing can defeat you. Because the greater is he that is in you. Than those things that you see outside there. I pray for somebody here. May that anointing come upon your life. May that anointing come back to your life. Restoration comes back to your life. Every darkness in your genealogy life. It has no power. Somebody lift up your hands. It has no power. It has no power. Because the Bible says, it says that the darkness that covers over the earth, it will not comprehend. Because you have the light. The time of arising has come. The time of going to the next level has come. When God says yes, nobody can say no. I pray for you tonight that nations will be looking for you. They shall come for you. When you read further, it says they will not only come to you. They shall come with the treasures of this world. They shall bring the treasures. I pray for somebody here. May the doors of treasures open for you. Because of the anointing you carry. Because of the gift you carry. Because of the gospel you carry. You shall preach the gospel and many people shall come. You shall also bring the people to the Lord Jesus. From darkness into the light. That's why Jesus said. No one can light his candle. And put it under the table. I pray for you today. When the light comes upon you. You shall not hide. You shall not hide. You shall be known. People will know who you are. I pray that you may receive your life. May you receive your life. God has given you the ministry. But you need the light upon that ministry. The glory of God. The more God touches you, the more you return the glory. The more you return the glory. Because the Bible says, because of this, he says, lift up your, your eyes and see 
All they gather themselves together. They come to thee. People are gathering themselves. And they are coming to you. They come to you. Because of what you carry. Because of the light. People will come to you. You shall solve their problems. Because you carry something. You carry the anointing. You carry the light. Somebody say amen. Somebody shout amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Bible says in verse number 5. Then thou shalt see. Utaweza kuona and flow together na utaenda pamoja and thine heart shall fear na kwa moyo wako utakuwa na ukutina kuogopa and be enlarged na utapanuliwa because of the abundance of the sea kwa sababu ya utele wa wa wa, wa, wa mazi shall be converted unto thee utabadilishwa kuwa kwako somebody say amen. amen the wealth of the sea ya kwamba utajiri wa wa mazi what is the sea represent? Bahari. The sea represent nations. Bahari inawakilisha mataifa. The sea represent the nations. Bahari inawakilisha mataifa. When the nations come to you, wakati mataifa nakuja kwako, they shall come with something. Watakuja na kitu mikononi. The wealth of the sea. Watakuja na utajiri wa mayai. It will come to you. Utakuja kwako. Because God has made you to settle in a particular place. Kwa sababu Mungu amekufanya ufike mahali fulani. He has lifted you. Amekuinua to the next level. Katika kiwango kingine. He has given you the power. Amekupa nguvu to overcome. Ili kushinda. To destroy darkness. Na kuharibu giza. Darkness in your family. Giza ndani ya familia yako. It shall be destroyed. Itakuwa itaharibiwa. Darkness in everywhere. Giza kama mahali popote. Because of your appearance. Kwa sababu ya kuonekana kwako. It shall be destroyed. Itaharibiwa. Because where there is light. Kwa sababu kuliko na there is no darkness. Am I talking to somebody Inanena here? Na mtu kweli? Where there is light, kuna mwanga, there is no darkness. Na giza. And if darkness tries to appear, na wakati giza la kuonekana, the light shall shine mwanga utaangaza, and it shall go beyond the darkness. Na zaidi ya giza, and the nations will see you. Na mataifa we have people sitting here. Kuna watu hapa. You've been trying your level best Umejaribu kawa kiwango chako zaidi. to be seen kuonekana but nothing has happened to you lakini hakuna chochote kimetendeka kwako because of where you are kwa sababu ya mahali uliko but when god says lakini wakati mungu anasema arise ya kwamba inuka he is preparing you anakuandaa to give you something that you could not have kukupatia kitu ambacho hukuwa nacho to give you an extra blessing kukupa baraka zaidi because when you arise from where you are kwa sababu kinuka kutoka mahali uliko to the next level kwa kiwango kingine those who could not see you wale ambao kuweza kuona they will see you too. Tonight. They will see you tonight. Those who could not access to you. The light. The light is the evidence. The light is the evidence. When I carry the light. Anywhere I go. It is the evidence. People will see me. You shall be honored. I pray that you shall be honored. You shall be honored. There are people sitting here. I pray tonight. Because the Bible says you cannot shine if you are not honored. May you be honored. I say may you be honored. When the time of your honor comes, nobody will dethrone you. Nobody can remove you from your position. Your position will be your position. Your victory will be your victory. Ushindi wako ni ushindi wako. The anointing over your life. Upako juu ya maisha yako. It shall do greater things. Utafanya vitu vikubwa. Because Jesus said, Kwa sababu Yesu alisema, The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Ya kwamba roho bwana yu juu yangu. For he has anointed me. Kwa sababu amenipaka mafuta. To heal the broken hearted. Kuwaponya wale waliofunjika mioyo. From today, kuanzia leo, you shall arise from this place. Utainuka toka mahali hapa. Any person in your family. Yeyote ndani ya familia yako. Any person close to you. Yeyote who is broken hearted you carry the medicine you shall bring the healing you 
Utaleta uponyazi. You shall bring the healing. Utaleta uponyazi. Because in the presence of anointing. Kwa sababu katika uwepo wa upako. Darkness cannot stand. Giza haliwezi himili. Sickness cannot stand. Magonzo hayawezi kuhimili. Forces of darkness cannot stand. Nguvu za giza hazoezi kuhimili. That's why Jesus saying. Yo maana Yesu akasema. Go in my name. Ya kwamba nenda kwa zina langu. And you shall cast them in my name. Na utakemea kwa zina langu. For I have given you the power. Kwa sababu nimewapeni nguvu. And I have given you authority. Na nimewapa mamlaka. I pray today. Ninaomba leo. You shall have authority. Ya kwamba utakuwa na mamlaka. You shall have the power. Utakuwa na nguvu. Whatever you command. Chochote unaamuru. It shall come out. Kitatoka. Whatever you declare. Chochote unatangaza. Something will come out. Kitu kitatokea. You shall speak on things. Utaongea kwa vitu. And things will listen to you. Na vitu vitakusikiza. You shall declare. Utatangaza. And new things shall come out. Na vitu vipya vitaonekana. If you believe you can shout amen. When you carry the glory. Wakati unabeba utukufu. God cannot give you the glory. Mungu hawezi kupa utukufu. Without the power. Bila nguvu. I pray with somebody here. Ninaomba na mtu hapa. You shall walk in power. Utatembea na kwa matatizo. You shall walk in the anointing. Utatembea kwa upako. Whatever you lay your hands on. Chochote utaweka mikono juu yake. Shall not die. Akitakufa. Shall not die. Akitakufa. Your business will not die. Biashara yako vitakufa. The sick people you lay your hand on. Wagonzo utaweka mikono juu yake. They shall not die. Hawatakufa. Because you are not only laying hands. Kwa sababu wekei tu mikono. You are laying the power. Unawekea nguvu. You are laying the glory. Unaweka utukufu. You are laying the light. Unaweka uhai. Receive that anointing now. Pokea upako huo leo. That time shall come. Wakati utafika. This is your time. Huu ndio wakati. This is your time. Huu ndio wakati wako. The church of the Lord. Kanisa la Bwana. We must arise. Lazima tuinuke. The church must arise. Kanisa lazima liinuke. Leaders must arise. Wani wa viongozi lazima inuke. People must arise. Vijana wa sanga lazima inuke. Old men must arise. Wazee lazima wainuke. That's why the Bible says. Kwa maana Biblia inasema. It shall come to pass. Ya kwamba itakuja kutimia. I shall give my power. Nitawapa eni nguvu. My spirit. Na roho wangu. Upon everyone. Juu ya kila mmoja. Who has the flesh. Ambaye ana nyama. One young man shall prophesy. Ya kwamba kuna vizana watatabiri. They shall see vision. Wataona maono. Listen to me church. Nisikize kanisa. The church that has vision. Kanisa lililo na maono. Is a church on a move. Ni kanisa la kusonga mbele. The church with a vision. Kanisa la maono. Is a church that will go territories. Ni kanisa lina sfuka mipaka. Receive that anointing in the name of Jesus. Okay, upako uo kwa zina la Yesu. And the Bible says. The Bible says. The old men. Watu wa zee. They shall dream dreams. Wata ota ndoto. And the church will grow. Na kanisa litakua. Nothing will attack the church. Hakuna chochote kitadhuru kanisa. Because we have the light. Kwa sababu una mwanga. And we have the power. Na una nguvu. We have the anointing. Na una upako. That is the church we are talking about. Ino ndilo kanisa tuazungumzia. It is my prayer. Ni maombi yangu. That we may go back there. Ya kwamba tuende pale. A place where. Mali ambapo. When the sick person comes. Wakati mgonzo na kusa. He meets the glory. Ana kutana na utukufu. He meets the power. Ana kutana na nguvu. He meets the anointing. Ana kutana na upako. He receives the anointing. Ana pokea upako. May you receive that grace. Pok pokea uwepo uo. In the name of Jesus. Kwa zina la Yesu. How many people are ready for that? Wangapi wako tayari kwa hilo? How many people are ready for that? Wangapi wako tayari kwa hilo? That's why Jesus said. Yo maana Yesu akasema. When the spirit of God comes upon you. Wakati roho wa Bwana anakuja juu yako. You will receive the power. Unapokea nguvu. The power. Nguvu. Why are you receiving the power? Kwa nini unapokea nguvu? There is something that God wants you Kuna to do. Kuna kitu Mungu anataka utimize. We don't have a useless person. Hakuna mtu asiye na maana hapa. Tell your neighbor you are not useless. Awaambie jirani wewe si kwamba si wa maana. Tell your neighbor you are very useful. Ambia wewe ni wa maana. You are very useful. Wewe ni wa maana. The moment wakati tu God gives you that spirit. Mungu anakupa roho huyo. The power will come upon you. Nguvu zinakuja juu yako. You cannot be an intercessor Au, without the power. Hauwezi kuwa muombezi bila nguvu. You cannot be a pastor without the power. Hauwezi kuwa muhubiri bila nguvu. You cannot be a worshiper without Awezi the power. Hauwezi kuwa mwabudu bila nguvu. We are praying in the name of Jesus. Naomba kwa zina la Yesu. May the power
power come upon the church. The church will go back to the power. Am I talking to somebody here? The time of the Norman church is over. Arise and shine. For our glory has come. When the church arises, the nation will be healed. Am I talking to somebody here? The nation cannot be healed. Until the church arises. I pray for the church tonight. May the church arise. May the church arise. For the nation to be healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May the church arise. One thing you need to understand. The church is not a building. You are the church. You are the church. When you receive the power any place you go you shall represent God the power will be manifested people shall be healed I declare tonight even lame people they can walk the blind people they can see because of the power can we go back to the power the church of power Somebody lift your hand and say God Say Father Anoint me once again Somebody say anoint me once again Anoint me once again Anoint me once again When the Bible says arise And shine Even when you meet a sick person in your house Do not call pastor you shall pray I pray that you shall receive this you shall lay your hands because the Bible says those who believe in me they shall do greater things than what I have done he never said pastors he never said apostles he never said bishops he said those who believe I thank God tonight we are believers here those who believe they shall do great exploits because you have the power you have the power somebody lift up your hands say father anoint me anoint me tonight in the name of Jesus I declare all over your life. There are people sitting here. You cannot even sleep at night. Demons are over your life. Listen to me tonight. You don't need someone to deliver you. You need the truth of the Bible. You need the light. You need the light. The Bible says there is no relationship between the darkness and the light the time has come you shall capture the light any place you go you shall shine you shall shine you shall shine because Darkness cannot come. Give your neighbor high five. Tell your neighbor darkness will not come. The reason why you are dreaming what you are dreaming. It is because you lack something. Call upon the light. When you are sleeping. The light is surrounding you. When the devil wants to capture you. He cannot see you. He cannot trespass. He cannot not enter where the light is and when you have the light you shall not remain sitting we have sat for many years the time has come the time has come we shall arise not only arising we shall shine we shall shine we shall shine we shall shine, we shall shine. We shall shine. I declare you shall shine. I declare you shall shine. Listen to me. 
Nisikizeni. It doesn't matter where you were born from. Aitanisu lizaliwa wapi? The location where Jesus was born. Mahali ambapo Yesu alizaliwa. It never bound him to become great. Haikumfungia kuwa mkubwa. I pray for somebody here. Ninaomba na mtu hapa. It doesn't matter where you were born. Aitanisu lizaliwa wapi? It doesn't matter the family you are coming from. Aitanisu atoka familia gani? When you enter into the Lord Jesus. Wakati unaingia kwake Yesu. I have changed the location. Unabadilisha I have changed the path right. Anabadilisha hali ya uzao. I have changed it in the name of Jesus. Unabadilisha kwa jina la Yesu. I somebody here. Ninatangaza kwa mtu hapa. The blood that is circulating in you. Damu ambayo inatembea ndani yako. It is not the blood of your generation. Si damu ya kizazi chako. When I received Jesus. Wakati ninapokea Yesu. I received the blood of Jesus. Nilipokea damu ya Yesu. My tradition has no power. Hali yangu ya tamaduni haina nguvu. The of my tradition. Giza ya tamaduni. It has no power. Haina nguvu. I speak to somebody here. Ninanena na mtu hapa. You say from your heart. Unasema toka ndani ya moyo. I cannot stay in my marriage. Ye kwamba siwezi kaa kwa ndoa yangu. Because my grandmother never. Kwa sababu mnyanya yangu hakuweza. My aunt was not in a marriage. Shangazi wangu hakuweza pia. The Lord has sent me to say this. Mungu amenituma niseme haya. You are not them. Wewe si wale. The time has come. Wakati umefika. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. Arise. Inuka. Arise. Inuka. And shine. Na uangaze. Look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor. Mwambie zirani. Tell your neighbor arise. Mwambie zirani inuka. When the Bible says arise. Wakati anasema inuka. It means. Ina maana so. I shall go beyond. Ya kwamba nitaenda zaidi. Where my grandfather was. Zaidi ya jinsi babu yangu alikuwa. If my grandfather was here. Kama babu alikuwa hapa. I shall not die here. Sitakufia pale. I wish I'm talking to someone here. Yeri ngekuwa na neno na mtu hapa. When the Bible says. Wakati Biblia inasema. Arise. Inuka. It means. Ina maana so. Go to the next level. Usonga kwa kiwango kingine. Somebody is here tonight. Mtu wako hapa usiku wa leo. You are going to the next level. Unasonga kiwango kingine. You are minister to the next level. Unaenda kwa kiwango kingine. Your family to the next level. Familia yako kiwango kingine. The working is the next level. Kazi yako kiwango kingine. Tell your neighbor rise. Sema inuka. Arise. Inuka. Arise. Inuka. Come on. Hallelujah. There are people in your family. Kuna watu kwa familia yako. They work in Nairobi. Wanafanya kazi Nairobi. When they went back home. Wakati walirejea nyumbani. They went with nothing. Walienda bila chochote. But I declare. Lakini natangaza. You are not them. Wewe si wale. The time has come. Wakati umefika. In your office. Katika ofisi yako. Arise. Inuka. At the place of work. Mahali pako pa kazi. Arise. Inuka. In your marriage. Katika ndoa yako. Arise. Inuka. On this altar. Katika madhaba haya. Arise. Inuka. Give your neighbor high five. Hallelujah. Give your neighbor high five. Pezirani high five. Tell your neighbor. Mwambie zirani. Where other people fail? Mahali papo wengine wanasema. Where other people fail? Wakati wengine waliangukia. Where other people fail? Mahali wengine waliangukia. It does not mean Aimanishi you will also fail. Ya kwamba ni utaangukia hapo pia. Listen to me church. Nisikizeni kanisa. If you believe in the word of God. Kama waamini neno la Bwana. You are believing in God who is very powerful. Unaamini kwa Mungu ambaye ana nguvu tele. Can take you from something. Anaenza kutoa kwa kitu. That is not known. Hallelujah. That is not known. Ambapo haijulikani. If Jesus can born in a manger. Kama Yesu anaweza zaliwa katika hori la kulia ngombe. A place you cannot admire. Mali ambapo hawezi tamani. But today, lakini leo, we are talking about the King of Kings. Tunaongea kuhusu mfalme wa wafalme. Tell your neighbor location of your birth is not a problem. Sema mahali ulizaliwa haizalishi. It is not a problem. Yeye ile usishi. If you connect to the light, ukijihusisha na mwanga, if you connect to the light, ukijiunganisha na mwanga, that is the beginning of your next move. Ndio mwanzo wa wewe kusonga. I declare to somebody here. Ninatangaza kwa mtu hapa. You shall never be stagnant. Hautabakia tu pale. When you have the light of the gospel uko na mwanga wa izili nations will be calling upon you taifa watakuita wewe listen to me nisikizeni we are people sitting here kuna watu wameketi hapa i don't know their names sijui majina yao but it shall come to pass lakini itakuja
nation. Just to declare the word. To fulfill what God is speaking here. I pray for you tonight. Even if somebody in your family. He never entered an aeroplane. I have come to pray for you. You shall never die where you are. May the time of your time to arise. Go to the next level. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you arise, those who despise you, they shall come for you. And they shall tell you. Now atakwambia. Surely you are blessed. Akito umebarikiwa. I pray for somebody here. Ninaombea mtu hapa. Those who say that. Wale walisema. You are going nowhere. Hawendi popote. Don't fight with them. Usiwapigane nao. Don't fight with them. Usipigane nao. Trust the process. Wewe amini mtakatifu. Lord says remain here. Wakati Mungu anasema abaki hapa. Remain. Bakia. Remaining does not mean you are stagnant. Kubakia imanisi wewe ni wakukapa. You are in a place of preparation. Uko kwa hali ya maandalizi. When you are finished in the preparation Then God says and he says Now arise He cannot tell you to arise When you are unfinished You must be finished To arise I pray for somebody here The process you are going through The things you are going through May the Lord reach out the place. When he says arise, it means come out of there. Go to the next level. And you shall begin to shine. You shall begin to shine. Tonight we want to pray. We have things in your history. When you check on your history, when you check on your genealogy, we have what we call in Impossibilities. You cannot go beyond there. When you reach there, you die from that place. But the time has come. We shall not only go against it, but we shall arise above it. We shall arise above it. We shall arise above it. Someone lift up your two hands. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord will serve. The Lord will serve. The King we are serving. He's the only one who can say, Arise. Hallelujah. He's the only one who can say, Arise. Lift up your two hands. God cannot bring this message in vain. Am I talking to somebody here? God cannot bring this message in vain. He cannot use his servant to bring such a message. Somebody is here tonight. Mtu yuko hapa usiku wa leo. He has accepted this word. He can see the future. There is somebody who says I am going beyond my generation. I feel in the spirit tonight. We have what we call for runners here. People are for running things here. In their families. You shall be known to be the first one to do it. Am I talking to somebody here? That is what we call for running. You become the foundation. Am I talking to somebody here? Look at where you came from. And look at where God is taking you. Surely there is God in heaven. There is God in heaven. Who can change your story? I'm receiving this revelation. Arise and shine. Is to rewrite the history of your family. Somebody 
somebody is rewriting history. Kuna mtu anaandika historia hapa. I don't know who am I talking. Sijui ninasema na nani hapa. But I believe God is addressing somebody. Lakini naamini Mungu ananena na mtu. There is a history in your family. Kuna historia katika familia. That everyone knows. Ambayo kila mtu anazua. When you think about it. Wakati unaanza kuhusu. You don't think about going beyond that. Hauwezi waza kuhusu kwenda zaidi ya hiyo. The time has come. Wakati umefika. Somebody is rewriting something. Oh, somebody is rewriting something. And because you are winning tonight. Kwa sababu unaandika usiku leo. Because you are winning tonight. Kwa sababu unataka una, una usiku leo. You are winning, winning. Unashinda usiku leo. Because you are taking the victory tonight. Kwa sababu uko katika ushindi usiku leo. There is something God is doing here. Kuna kitu Mungu anatenda hapa. Your children will never be defeated. Watoto wako hawatashindwa. You become an open door. Utakuwa mlango uliofunguliwa. Am I talking to somebody here? Ninanena na mtu hapa. You shall become an open door. Utakuwa mlango uliofunguliwa. People shall go through you. Watu tapitia ndani yako. Because you rise. Kwa sababu umeinuka. And you shine. Na ukangaza. In that family. Katika familia hiyo. In that family. Katika familia hiyo. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Worship you. Somebody stand up and lift up your hands. Simama na uinuke miguu yako. God is doing some things here. Mungu anatenda kitu hapa. I have heard it in the spirit. Nimeisi katika roho. It has been a warfare in the spirit. Imekuwa ni vita katika roho. But at the end of the day I felt there is something God is doing here. Lakini mwisho wa siku na hisi kuna kitu Mungu anatenda hapa. If there is an intercessor here. Kama kuna muombezi hapa. He can know that there is something God is doing. Anaweza hisi kuna kitu Mungu anafanya. You cannot arise without opposition. Hauwezi inuka pasipo pingamizi. That's why you feel that particular opposition in the spirit. Ndio maana unahisi hiyo katika kali ya upingamizi katika lakini Mungu anasema I am the Lord ya kwamba mimi ndiye Bwana I am the Lord mimi ndiye Bwana Somebody lift your hand and say thank you Jesus Inua mikono sema asante Yesu Thank you Jesus Asante Yesu Thank you Jesus Asante Yesu The time of God wakati wa Bwana it is here with us Ni uko hapa nasi The time of God wakati wa Mungu it is here with us uko hapa nasi Your glory has come Utukufu wako umefika Glory has come. Utukufu wako umefika. The time of arising has come. Wakati wa kuinuka umefika. Come out of that particular place. Toka mahali ambapo upo. You cannot be defeated there. Hauwezi shindiwa tu pale. The Lord is lifting you. Mungu anakuinua. By show of hands. Kwa kuonyesha mikono tu. How many people believe? Hallelujah. How many people believe? Ni wangapi wanaamini? That God is shifting their lives. Ya kwamba Mungu anabadilisha maisha yao. Open your mouth wherever you are. Fungua kinywa chako mali uliko. Open your mouth wherever you are. Fungua kinywa chako mali uliko. The Lord is doing something here. Mungu anafanya kitu hapa. The Lord is doing something here. Mungu anafanya kitu hapa. The Lord is healing. Mungu anaponya. The Lord is shifting. Mungu anasongesha. We are praying for the spirit of God. Tunaomba kwa roho ya Bwana to come down kuja hapa chini tuliko to destroy demons kuvunja na kuharibu mapepo to destroy wrong altars kuharibu madhabahu ya giza we are coming against wrong altars tunasimama kinyume na madhabahu mabovu somebody pray with me here mtuombe nami hapa we are commanding wrong altars tunaharibu madhabahu mabovu upon your life juu ya maisha yako upon your family juu ya familia yako you shall arise above them utainuka zaidi yake you shall arise above them Utainuka juu yake. Oh Yesu nasaili Bwana. Wasaili Yesu. Worship you Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody pray, somebody pray. Mtu anaomba, mtu anaomba. The Lord we are praying here. 
Mungu tunayemuomba hapa. He has the power to wipe your tears. Ana uwezo kupanguza machozi yako. He has power to wipe your tears. Ana nguvu ya kupanguza machozi yako. Somebody's tears are wiped. Machozi ya mtu yanapanguzwa hapa. He has power to wipe it away. Ana nguvu za kupanguza machozi. He has power to touch lives. Ana nguvu ya kuguza maisha. I can feel the anointing of God upon my life. Ina upako wa Mungu juu ya maisha yako. Somebody you can be feeling it. Tunaweza kwa wahisi pia. You can feel that anointing Tuna of God. Tunaweza hisi upako huo pia. Arise. Uh, inuka. The voice says arise. Mungu anasema inuka. The voice of the Lord says Mungu anasema inuka. Arise. Inuka. Asante Yesu. We worship you. Worship you Jesus. Somebody lift your hand and pray. Tena mikono yako na uombe. Just pray, just pray, just pray. Just pray take your time in prayers. Take your time in prayers. I tell you something God is doing here. God is doing something here. Mungu anafanya kitu hapa. He's breaking things that could have blocked your life. Anavunja vitu ambavyo ingeharibu maisha yako. God is breaking things here. Mungu anavunja vitu hapa. Those who believe they can feel it. Kile ambacho naamini waweza hisi. Those who believe they can feel that. Wale wanaoamini wanaweza hisi upako huko. The Lord is breaking forces. Mungu anavunja nguvu. The Lord is breaking forces. Mungu anavunja nguvu. Ino tu mikono yako mbele za Mungu. Hallelujah. Ino mikono yako juu, ino mikono yako juu kwa Yesu. Katika hiyo nafasi ya kuinua mikono yako. Hallelujah. Kuna mambo umepigana nayo kwa miaka. Kuna mambo umepigana nayo kwa miaka mingi. Unatafuta Mungu akupiganie. Asubuhi ya leo. Bwana wa majeshi kwa mali hapa. The Lord is here tonight. The Lord is here to listen to your cry. He listen to your cry. Anasikiza kilio chako. Somebody pray, somebody pray. Somebody pray. Pass everything away. Every weight upon your life. Every weight upon your life. It will not push you down. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Somebody pray, somebody pray. The Lord is sending his spirit here. When the spirit of God comes down, people shall be delivered. They shall be lifted. They shall go to the next level. The power shall come. Guvu zitasuka anointing shall come upako utasuka somebody are here umtuko hapa receive your portion pokea sehemu yako tumepata neno la kote hapa tunaomba ukasimuze na sila yes the power of prayer guvu za maombi the power of prayer guvu za maombi it can change your life inaweza badilisha maisha yako you woman of god The Lord can change your life. Mungu anaweza badilisha maisha yako. He can change your life. Anaweza badilisha maisha yako. I don't know how many people believe this. Sijui ni wangapi wanaamini haya. I don't know how many people believe this. Sijui ni wangapi wanaamini haya. But the Lord can change your life. Mungu anaweza badilisha maisha yako. Break it in the name of Jesus. Break it in the name of Jesus. Refuse Jesus. Refuse it in the name of Jesus. Say no to that spirit. 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 Say no to that
Inuka, arise! Inuka, arise! Inuka, and shine! Now, Angazi, and Any wicked spirit that is finding your ministry, we are refusing now. Somebody refuse it now. We are refusing it now. In the name of Jesus, we are commanding tonight every wicked spirit that is coming against your life. We are commanding it now. We command it now. We fight it now. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is doing something here. The Lord is hearing your cry. Somebody lift your hand and say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. The Lord is hearing your cry. The Lord is hearing your cry. He hears your cry. He has the power. To touch your life. He has the power. To touch your life. He has the power. To touch your life. The Lord has got power Mungu anangufu. to change your life, Kubadilisa maisha yako. to shift your life, Kubadilisa maisha yako. to remove everything that is hindering you Kutocho, chote, macho, ni kisu easy. over your life, Zuya maisha yako. over your life, Zuya maisha yako. over your generation, Zuya kizazi chako. over your generation, Zuya kizazi chako. that's why he says, Yomana nasema, arise, inuka, arise, inuka, arise, inuka, daughter of God, inuka, the daughter of God, toto wa mungu, arise, inuka, arise, inuka, Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you for uprooting everything that is not of you. By faith, by faith. Nasema, nasema. By faith. Katika imani. By faith. Katika imani. By faith, katika imani. Somebody is moving to the next level. Mtu anasonga kwa kiwango kingine. I say somebody is moving to the next level. Nasema mtu anasonga kwa kiwango kingine. By faith, kwa imani. By faith, kwa imani. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. By faith, katika imani. You cannot remain there. Hawezi bakia pale. By faith, katika imani. It's your time. Ni wakati wako. By faith, katika imani. I pray for somebody here. Nations will be looking for you. Hallelujah. You are my leader. The nations will be looking for you. Mataifa watakuta futa. Nations will be looking for you. Mataifa watakuta futa. I don't know where you are. Siju yuko wapi. But I pray for you. Lakina kuombea. Nations will be looking for you. Mataifa watakuta futa. The word of God. Neno la mungu. It is yes and amen. Nindiyo na amina. When God says. Wakati mungu anasema. Nations will be looking for you. Mataifa watakuta futa. It shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Command that spirit. Hallelujah. Command that spirit. Amuro huyo. To come out of your life. Toka kwa maisha yako. In Jesus name. Kwa zina la Yesu Christ. Ishi kem kono mfame. Ishi kem kono Yesu. Siwezi peke angu Jehovah. Yesu ni yongoza. 
Somebody lift your voice and say thank you, Jesus. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Declare the power of God over the church. Somebody declare the power of the church. The power of the Lord over the church. The anointing of God over the church. Somebody declare. Declare, declare, declare. Declare the anointing of God over the church. Over the church. Over the church. Anybody gathering here, the power, the anointing of the Lord is over your life. Thank you for accepting. Lord, I bless your name. Asante mfalme. Asante yesu. Asante kwa kibali. Asante kwa neema. Asante yesu. Asante mfalme. Pokea sifa yesu. Inakuwa abudu. Inasema ni asante. I pray for somebody here. Inaomba na mtu hapa. That God of heaven may he anoint your spirit tonight. May you be anointed tonight and arise you to the next level in the name of Jesus. Because the Bible says Isaiah was prophesying to the church to Israel telling them the time has come for you to arise for you to shine the darkness that is all over the world it needs somebody who has the power who has the light who has the gospel receive it in the name of Jesus Worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Worship you, Lord. Lift your holy name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We love you, Jesus. 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 Somebody you are here tonight and you say from your heart today is my day I desire the light and the glory for me to shine after rising you are there just make a step forward on the altar the Lord has a reason for you don't fear just come in front by faith something is changing in your life something is changing in your life the Lord is shifting something just make a step in front here by faith in the Lord the Lord will see you through the Lord will shift you come come oh thank you Jesus thank you
song of Bella Fadina. Mungu hawezi leta neno hili pasi kwa sababu We have people in this house Kuna watu ndani ya nyumba hii The Lord want to shift Mungu hawe taka kwa songesha To the next level Katika kiwango kingine Do not listen to the force behind the scene Usisikize sauti ya zile nguvu nyuma yako Do not accept that voice Usikubali sauti hiyo If you have ever desired to go to the next move Kama umetamani kusonga kwa tuwa nyingine Come Njo Joe, it is your time. Joe, ni wakati wako. Don't ask yourself some questions. Usijulize maswali tu. Just make a step forward. Fanya hatu watu apambele. That step alone. Iyo hatu apeke. It has shifted things in your life. Ime badilisha vitu kwa maisha yako. Somebody who is in the spirit can understand what I'm talking. Mtu alie katika roa weze alewa yale mba nesema. The Lord is able to do exceedingly. Mungu aweza fanya zaidi. Somebody lift your hands. Mtu inua mikono yako. I know God is touching somebody there. Ninajua Mungu anagusa mtu pale. He has something for you. Akona kitu kwa sababu yako. Don't fear. Usiogope. Don't fear. Usiogope. Wale mmekuja songa tu mbele, songa tu mbele. Songa tu karibu na madhabahu. The Lord knows you are desires even before you ask Mungu anajua tamani yolako hata kabla ujauliza He knows Anajua He knows Anajua Men of God you can come just stand behind them Watu wa Mungu weza simama nyuma yake The sister Mfune Sister, listen tonight. Just listen. The tears this woman of God is crying here. Josi ambayo mama huyu analia hapa. You might not know what she's going through. Awezi jua na pitia magani. But the gospel has got power. Lakini injili na nguvu. I felt the enemy trying to force and to crush some things here but the bible says ninaisi kwamba adui alikuwa anajaribu kulazimisha na kuvunja vitu lakini biblia inasema his word ya kwamba neno lake it is yes ya kwamba ni ndio and amen na ni amina intercessors can understand what i'm talking about mbezi waweza elewa kila unasema and men of god that are here watu wa mungu waweza elewa the devil has no power shetani hana nguvu can somebody lift up your hands the devil has no power the devil has no power shetani hana nguvu he god knows what you desire Mungu anajua kina unachoitaji. God knows. Mungu anajua. I pray. Ninaomba the spirit of God. Roho wa Bwana to rest upon you. Ayakuje juu yako. To break every yoke. Avunje kila nira. Receive that anointing. Pokea ya upako huo. In Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. I pray. Ninaomba. What you are crying for? Kila ambacho nalilia. 
No man knows. Hakuna yote anayojua. But it's between you and God. Lakini kati yako wewe na Mungu. You know what you need. Unajua kila ambacho unapitia. And we shall not ask you questions. Na tuwezi kuuliza maswali. Only believe. Lakini amini tu. You cannot be in tears like this. Hauwezi kuwa kwa machozi hivi tu. The time of arising has come. Wakati wa kuinuka umefika. The time of arising has come. Wakati wa kuinuka umefika. Somebody stretch your hands upon this woman. Tuinua mikono yako juu ya dada huyu. I pray tonight. Tunaomba usiku wa leo. The anointing of God. Upako wa Bwana to come upon your life. Kuja juu ya maisha yako. Receive it in Jesus name. Ipokee kwa jina la Yesu. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Pokea kwa jina la Yesu. I pray. Ninaomba. Every wicked spirit. Kila roho wa giza that tries to drag you behind ambaye inajaribu kukushikilia nyuma to force you to remain stagnant na kukurudisha ubaki pasipo kuendelea in the name of jesus ninaitoa kwa jina la yesu i lay my hands upon you ninaweka mikono yangu juu yako the bible says biblia inasema god will wipe away your tears mungu atapanguza machozi yako may the spirit of god come over you na roho ya bwana akuje juu yako sasa receive that anointing in the name of jesus upako huo kwa jina la yesu receive that anointing in the name of jesus pokea upako huo kwa jina la yesu i break every yoke ninavunja kila nira in the name of jesus kwa jina la yesu the tears you are shedding this morning majozi ambao unatoa sasa hivi this morning asubuhi ya leo this morning asubuhi ya leo there is god kuna mungu 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 who can touch you ambaye anaweza kuza maisha yako who can touch your life ambaye anaweza kuza maisha yako be at peace kuwa katika imani in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu just kneel down and lift up your hand and say thank you to the lord niga magoti chini na uinue god has done it god has done it mungu ameshafanya god has done it mungu ameshafanya god has done it and also you can lay your hands on them in the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Woman of God, it is well. Ni vema. It is well. Imekuwa vema. Lift up your hands. Inua mikono yako. Father in the name of Jesus. Baba kwa jina la Yesu. May your spirit come over this one. Na roho yako aje juu yake. Shift this life. Become songeshe. Shift this life, Lord. Songeshe maisha haya. Break every yoke. Vunja kila nira. Break every yoke. Vunja kila nira. Break every yoke. Kila nira. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes Lord, you break it. You break it Lord. You break it. The name of You break it in the name of Jesus. You break it in Jesus. 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 The Lord is able to see you through. Mungu aweza kukuona. Kuna mikono yako mwambie Mungu ni asante. Bwana ni mwaminifu in your life. The desire of your heart. May God touch your life. Father in the name of Jesus you are destroying every hindrance in this life every generation of spirit break it now father break it he believes in your holy name today you are breaking it today you are breaking it you are terrorizing it now bring it down oh god by the power by the authority by the anointing from above receive that anointing in jesus name i break every chains every chains upon your life every chains upon your family upon your generation of father we thank you I command it to lose your life. Lose this life. Lose. Lose this life. Lose. 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 Toka ndani yake, toka ndani yake. Toka kwa maisha yake katika jina la Yesu. In the name of Jesus. You shall arise above it. Come out of them and arise. Depression is not your portion. Peace shall be your portion. Somebody stand up on your feet wherever you are. Just lift up your hands. We want to pray for the anointing of God and the power of God to be upon the church. For healing to take place. For deliverance to take place. For the power to take place. In Jesus name. Kila moja inua tu mikono yako mbele za Mungu. We join our hands with the man of God. 
all of us we want to pray that all this region the anointing of God will flow how many people believe together with me here Ambia Mungu omba tu Mungu akaachilie neema yake kwa hii neema. Kwa hii neema, kwa hii neema ya maeneo haya. Bwana akaachilie nguvu zake. Akaachilie nguvu zake. Kuanzia kwa hii madhabao. Kila mahali. Somebody pray intercessors. Where are intercessors? Intercessors lift your voice. Worship us use your microphone to pray. Lift your voice, lift your voice. Somebody lift your voice, lift your voice. Omba kanisa la Bwana likafunguliwe katika maeneo haya. Anga zote za makanisa haya. Bwana kaachilie upako wake mkubwa. Watu wataingia mahali hapa na wanapona. Watu wataingia mahali hapa na wanakombolewa. Watu wataingia mahali hapa na wanasonga hatua. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Katika madhabahu haya kwa jina la Inua sauti yako mwambie Bwana ukashuke mali hapa ukashuke na utukufu wako kaonekane kanisa lako Bwana shuka ukaliokoe kanisa lako kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu wewe ni kwa jina la Yesu Kristo kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba ya kwamba neema ya Bwana ikashuke in the name of Jesus in the name Father in the name of Jesus I pray that you be free from every chains from every demons be free now come out of her she belong to God tonight out Toyota katika jina la Yesu inaachilia akili yako kwa jina la Yesu Kristo kila mamlaka ambayo imekushikilia chini yote inaondoka kwa jina la Yesu Kristo kwa jina la Yesu Kristo unafunguliwa kwa jina la Yesu kwa jina la Yesu Kristo in the name of Jesus kwa jina la Yesu Kristo Father in the name of Jesus let your will be done over this life yes umechagua dada huyu kutoka katika mateka na umemtia mafuta Asubuhi ya leo yes. anaondoka katika vifungo yes. kwa jina la Yesu Kristo kila kifungo kwa maisha yake ni amuru toka toka kwa jina la Yesu toka kitoke toka 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 kwa jina la Yesu kwa jina la Yesu toka kwa jina la Yesu kwa jina la Yesu toka kwa jina la Yesu toka katika jina la Yesu na tangaza uwe huru na tangaza uachiliwe in the name of Jesus. Baba ni asante kwa utukufu wako. Asante kwa utulivu wako. In the name of Jesus. Be free. Be free. Kila mmoja elekeza tu mkono wako juu ya dada huyu. Our heavenly Father, we are the Mungu wanya katizote. Guvu ambazo zimetatiza dada uyu kwa miaka yote. Tumezipinga katika maumbi hai. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo, jina lililo juu ya majina yote, tunatangaza sasa kufunguliwa kwako uwe huru kuanzia leo utamtumikia Mungu utafanya kazi ya Mungu arise now arise 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 and shine the glory of God is over your life Jesus unastahili ewe Yesu Nastahili kuabudiwa Nastahili bwana Unastahili kuabudiwa Unastahili ewe Yesu Nastahili kuabudiwa Unastahili ewe Nastahili kuabudiwa Unastahili ewe Yesu Nastahili kuabudiwa Unastahili bwana wa mabwana 
Unastahili kuabudi wako Unastahili elewa Yesu Unastahili kuabudi wako Unastahili kama wewe Unastahili kuabudi wako Unastahili elewa Yesu Unastahili kuabudi wako Unastahili kama wewe Unastahili kuabudi Unasaili ewe Yesu Unasaili kuabudiwa Unasaili ewe kama wewe Unasaili kuabudiwa Unasaili ewe Yesu Unasaili kuabudiwa Unasaili ewe kama wewe Unasaili kuabudiwa Unasaili ewe Unasaili kuabudiwa Unasaili yeah Unasaili kuabudiwa Unasaili yeah Ewe Yesu Unasaili kuabudiwa Unasaili yeah Unasaili kuabudiwa Unasaili yeah Ewe Yesu Unasaili kuabudiwa Unasaili kuabudiwa Unasaili Ewe Yesu Unasaili kuabudiwa Unasaili Unasaili kuabudiwa Unasaili Ewe Yesu Unasaili kuabudiwa Unasaili Sisi tunakuwa mtu 
Your name is mighty God. Your name is power. Your name is everything I desire. Your name is everything I desire. Your name is Jehovah. By your name is Jesus. As we make this prayer, kwa ajili ya wala ambao mumeito kwa huduma, aijalishi ni katika na semgani ya huduma, lakini you have the ministry of God inside you. And you want to arise to the next level. Just come in front here, we pray together with you. Atwezi kusahau these ministries. When you arise in your ministry, the kingdom will fill the grace. The anointing will flow. Hallelujah. Make a step and come in front here. We hold our hands and we pray. The Lord is very powerful. He knows you are here. You have admired to serve God. Don't fear. If you have that calling, you have that zeal to serve God, so that you are kama kuna mtu mwingine kule nyuma uko na gift unataka Mungu tumikie Mungu katika kiwango kingine ndio maana Biblia inasema arise and shine arise and shine arise and shine in every capacity that God has anointed you to arise and shine wrestling to come you are wrestling to come unasikia ni kama niende sijui kama niwache defy that spirit and come that is the beginning of your greatness defy that spirit and come swallow everything and come kuna mtu mungu anamgoja hapa in what we call the presence of God sio kwa maana unajua wakati mwingine wakati kama huo unasikia shetani anakuambia wewe hujaitwa wewe wewe hujaitwa wewe hakuna kitu ya kufanya mpaka unanyamaza unabaki kwenye misimamo lakini it comes a time unasema in the name of Jesus i am going i am going i am going thank you lord give us a worship as we pray for the pastor you can just pray for him. Chayote nikufuate wewe ninawacha yote nikufuate wewe ninawacha yote nikufuate wewe ninawacha yote nikufuate wewe ninawacha yote ninawacha yote Ote nikufuate wewe ninawacha yote Ote nikufuate wewe ninawacha yote ninawacha yote nikufuate wewe ninawacha yote Ote nikufuate wewe ninawacha yote Nikufuate wewe wewe tu ninawacha yote 
watu yote ya dunia ina wacha yote nikufate we nikufate wacha yote nikufate we mimi na wacha yote ina wacha yote nikufate we ina wacha yote Nikufuate we Ninajitenga na uli mwengu Nikufuate wewe Wewe buwana Ninawacha yo Ote Nikufuate we Ninawacha yo te Ninawacha yo te Nikufuate we Ninawacha yo te Nikufuate we multitude of camels shall cover thee. Na umati wangamia utakuwa juu yako. And drum, uh, draw the knights of Midian and Ephra. Na ngamia za Midian na Endama all thy from Sheba shall come. Wote kutoka kule sheba watakuja. They shall bring gold and incense. Wataleta dhahabu na ufukizo. And they shall shew forth the praises of the Lord. Na wataimba sifa za buwana. I pray over your life. Ninaomba juu ya maisha yako. You shall never struggle. Hauta ngangana. Because God has spoken to you. Kwa sababu Mungu amesema nawe, he has given you directions. Amekupa mwelekeo. He has shown you the way. Amekupa njia that as you tap into the word. Ya kwamba wakati unalishika tu neno, this word will cause you to arise. Neno hili litakusababisha kuinuka. I pray for somebody in this congregation. Ninaombea mtu katika umati huu, you shall arise in the word. Utainuka katika neno. And the word will cause many to come to you. I pray that whatever you will speak, it will be the word. When you declare, it shall be the word of God. And the Bible says everything was created by the word. In every declaration you will declare from today. Something new will be created. Something new will be created. You shall declare utatangaza and something will happen na kitu kitatendeka your star will continue to shine nyota yako itaendelea kungaa which is the gospel of jesus ambao ni injili ya yesu kristo may the gospel become your portion na injili ikawe sehemu yako you preach it everywhere uibubiri mahali popote the nations will come for you mataifa watakutafuta they will look for you watakutafuta from jerusalem kutoka yerusalem judea kwenda judea samaria kwenda samaria and the whole world na hata dunia nzima they will look for you wote watakutafuta in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu and god will gather for you na mungu atakukusanyia in the name of jesus kwa jina la yesu 
I pray in the name of Jesus. Nobody is under this roof. Hakuna yote uko chini hapa hili. That you are leaving this place the way you came. Au unatoka hapa jinsi ulivyoingia. You shall arise from that level. Utainuka toka nafasi ya leo hii. I pray you shall arise from that level. Ninaomba utatoka kiwango hicho. May the Lord give you the power to arise from that level. Mungu akupe nguvu ya kusonga toka kiwango hicho. And after rising from that level. Na baada ya kuinuka toka kiwango hicho. We believe and we trust in the word of God. Tunaamini neno la Bwana. That all of us we shall shine. Ya kwamba sote tutangaa. Am I talking to somebody here? Inanena na mtu hapa. All of us we shall shine. Kwa sababu sisi sote tutangaa. Because the light has come. Kwa sababu mwanga umekuja. Because the glory has come. Kwa sababu tukufu umekuja. The light with which, which is the glory of God. Mwanga ambao ni utukufu wa Bwana umekuja juu ya maisha yetu. For us to shine. Ili kwamba tungae. To shine in everything. Kungaa katika kila chochote. Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Thank you Lord. Asante Yesu. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Worship you Lord. Tukuabudu wewe. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. My final prayer for you. Ombi langu la mwisho kwenu. Because God has given you the anointing. Kwa sababu Bwana amekupa upako. He has given you the anointing. Ameshakupa upako. The anointing will radiate to others. Upako wako utaangaza kwa wengine. You shall not only remain with that anointing. Hautabakia tu na upako huo utaangazia wengine. You shall operate like Jesus. Utafanya kazi kama Yesu. Because you are the follower of Jesus. Kwa sababu wewe ni mfuasi wa Yesu. He was anointed yeye alipakwa mafuta to heal the broken hearted kuponya mioyo iliyovunjika you shall heal the broken hearted utaponya mioyo iliyovunjika he was anointed alipakwa mafuta to set the captive free kuweka waliofungwa huru in every place you will go mahali popote utakapoenda every captivities kila kifungo you shall deal with it in jesus name utakabiliana nacho kwa jina la yesu because you have the anointing kwa sababu una upako you shall declare to the people of god utatangazia watu wa mungu accepted the year of the lord mwaka ukubali yako uliokubalika wa mungu in the year 2023 mwaka wa 2023 i pray for you ninakuombea it is your year to arise ya kwamba ni mwaka wako wa kuinuka and to shine in everything na kuangaza kwa kila kitu because the glory has come kwa sababu tukufu umeshakuja somebody lift up your head and thank you inua mikono yako juu thank god wherever you are mshukuru mungu mali uliko thank god wherever you are mshukuru mungu mali uliko thank you jesus Shukuru tu Mungu katika hiyo neema. Ninakuabudu Bwana na wewe wa Yesu. Asante kwa kutukumbuka Bwana katika jina la Yesu. Tuna nyenye kiasi yako wewe ni mfalme Bwana. Bwana kanishi wewe ni mkuu wewe ni Bwana wa mafano. Tunapinua Jehova kwa sababu unastahili Jehova. Wewe ni mfalme wa wafalme Jehova. Asante kwa Bwana wewe ni wewe ni mfalme wa mtu na sifa zifuatazo kila mmoja omba tu Mungu tunapotoka mahali hapa may the nation look for you nations will look for you nations will be looking for you nations will be looking for you mataifa itakutafuta kwa zina la Yesu Kristo wewe ni Mungu We declare in the name of Jesus. Tunatangaza kwa jina la Yesu. As the Lord causes all of us to arise. Jinsi Mungu sababisha sote kuinuka. None of us will arise with the sicknesses. Hakuna atakayenuka kwa magonjwa. Every sickness we are shaking them off. Kila magonjwa tayatingiza na kuyaacha kando. I pray that we are shaking off every disease. Ninaomba kwamba tunatingiza na kuacha magonjwa yote. We are shaking off 
Everything that has been hindering your life We shake it off We speak in the name of Jesus Anything that has caused you to delay We declare We are shaking it off 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 Father we pray today Baba, tunaomba leo, that as you've spoken to us kwamba jinsi una, nasi, the time of us to arise has come ya kwamba wakati wetu wa kuinuka umefika we pray that all of us we may arise tunaomba ya kwamba sote tuinuke and shine in the glory that you've given to us na tuangaze kwa na utukufu ambao umetupa because your light is upon us kwa sababu mwanga wako uko juu yetu any darkness in our lives ila giza ndani ya maisha yetu it will not have power over our lives we are refusing it in the name of Jesus. Those that have kids in this place. All people that have children here. I pray for their children. I pray for their children. We are covering our children now. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. There is no satanic influence that will influence our children we are commanding that spirit we shut them off in the name of Jesus Father I pray Baba ninaomba to every marriage represented here wa kila ndo wabai miko hapa that God of heaven ya kwamba Mungu wa mbinguni you shall seal it by the blood utaifunga kwa damu because you compare the marriage and the church kwa sababu nalinganisha ndoa na kanisa the will of the kingdom be done here katika hali ya ufalme ifanyike hapa upon our lives kulingana na kwa kwa maisha yetu upon our families kwa familia zetu in the name of Jesus kwa zina la Yesu somebody raise up your hands and clap for Jesus Thank you Jesus. We appreciate you Jesus. We lift your holy name. We lift your holy name. Thank you Jesus. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your touch. Thank you for lifting us. Thank you for touching us. In the name of Jesus. Worship the Lord. us praise as I give out microphone to man of God. Just give us a praise. We celebrate the Lord. We celebrate the Lord and we say thank you Jesus for what you have done for lifting us and for giving us glory and honor and the light. Somebody just lift up your two hands like this. Just clap for Jesus wherever you are. Hallelujah. Clap for Jesus. If indeed you are not sick you can lift up your hands and clap for Jesus. <laughs> I know the way I'm betting down my mind. I know the way I'm betting down my mind. I know the way I'm betting down my mind. I know the way I'm betting down my mind. I know the way I'm betting down my mind.